looking for uh, Jackie Doctorman. Jackie Doctorman. Jackie. Oh, hi, Jackie. What a coincidence that you're right there. Hi, how are you? Stand up, please. Do you mind? I won't frighten you. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Nice to see you. Where are you from? Claremont, California. Claremont. Okay, how far is that? Uh, about an hour's drive. Okay. Yeah. That was a big commitment for you to come to this show. Yeah. Thank you very much. Did you fly here on a jet? No, a jet pack. A jet pack. Yeah. Very nice. Okay, who's this guy with you? This is my boyfriend. Hey, how are you? I'm going to fight him in the parking lot after the show. <laughs> Bare chested. It's what we men do. All right, Jackie, are you ready to play basic cable name that tune? I am, yeah. Okay. Kesha is a close personal friend of mine. But if I tried to play, play this hit of hers without paying, her lawyers would sue me until I die old and penniless. Guys, would you play it, please? Okay, which Kesha song did that kind of sound like, but it's not? Die Young. <laughs> All die right. Young. Actually. <laughs> sure. That sounded like Die Young, okay? But I assure you it was our own original song, We Have a Fatal Illness. <laughs> Here to perform it is a singer who just returned from a 40-city tour of every P.F. Chang's location on the East Coast. I hate this guy, Mr. Brian LaFontaine. I hear your liver process bile to the rhythm of bass. It's most unfortunate your AA sponsor's here in this place. But while he's scoring some coke, let's exploit the evening to the fullest like we have a fatal illness. Yeah. All right, it's... Uh... He's terrible, isn't he? Yeah. He's bad, right? Bad. Yeah, he can't carry a tune. My only talent is public urination. All right. <laughs> He's a horrible man. Well, Jackie, uh, you did win. Uh, you did get it right. So, uh, Andy, would you tell Jackie what her prize is? Straight from our clothing factory in the Shandong province, it's some defective Conan merchandise. <laughs> Look at that. There you go. Very nice to meet you. Yeah, enjoy that. That's going to be fun. Ava Grayson. Is Ava Grayson here? Ava Grayson. Ava. Oh, Ava Grayson. All right, up here. I can move. All right. Hi, how you doing? Hey, good. How are you? Good to see you. How are you? Good. Come on out here. I want to talk to you, if okay. you don't mind. All right. Wow, you're tall. Yeah, mm -hmm. so are you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, a lot of people around. That's awkward. Uh, Ava, where are you from? Vancouver. Oh, I love Vancouver. Yeah? Yeah. Cool. I love Canada, but Vancouver's a fantastic town. So you came here to L.A. just to see this show for no other reason? Kind of. Okay, good enough for me. <laughs> Don't ask too many questions. <laughs> How long have you been here? Uh, since about one this afternoon. Okay, and then you came right to the show, and then yes. once you're done with the show, you're going right back to Vancouver. Yes. Perfect. I'm a deluded idiot. <laughs> Who is this gentleman right here? This is Chris. Is this Chris with you? Uh, yes. Oh, okay, I'll fight him as well. <laughs> Ladies, I will fight all of your boyfriends in the parking lot after the show. <laughs> what? What? Why is everyone into that idea? <laughs> the guys are like, he looks easy, I'll do it. <laughs> are you ready to play, Eva? Sure. Okay, this song made Billy Joel a huge star, and if we play the actual song, would be the victims of a huge lawsuit. And man, oh man, you don't want to get sued by that guy who plays the piano. Man. <laughs> Hit it. All right, Ava, can you identify that Billy Joel song that it sort of sounds like, but is not in a court of law, I can prove it. Piano man. Piano man. All right. <laughs> okay. You and many intellectual property attorneys may know it as Piano Man, but I can assure you this is our own totally original tune called Tuba Guy. Hit it. Blow on your tuba, you're the tuba guy. Blow on your tuba this week. Cause we've got a hankering for tuba tunes. So blow on that horn like a freak. Yeah. Don't applaud him, he's awful. <laughs> I've been arrested 12 times for stalking Judd Hirsch. I, I, I just hate him so much. Not half hate. as much as I hate myself. Shut up. Uh, Andy, tell Ava what you won. 
It's a jar of hroom, Norway's best-selling breakfast spread slash insect repellent. It's gross. Hold that up. You like hroom? Wow. You're gonna love hroom. It was so nice meeting you, and I will fight you in about 20 minutes. Andrew Hernandez. Hey, Andrew, how are you? Good, how are nice you? to see you. How you doing? Where are Good. you from, Andrew? I'm from from Los Angeles. Okay, so no commitment at all to be here. Uh, <laughs> uh, Andrew, uh, what do you do? I'm a film student. Oh, incredible! What's your favorite film of all time? Uh, Death Becomes Her. Oh, okay, that's a great movie. Yeah, it's a good one. Are you going to be a film director yourself someday? I hope. Yeah. Okay. Will you cast me in something? Of course. Just in the background, I'll just lean in and kind of wave. <laughs> yeah. Steal focus and then lean out again. <laughs> And ruin your movie. All right, here we go. You ready to play? I am. Okay. I personally asked the Red Hot Chili Peppers if we could play the song, but when I wondered if they'd give it away for free, they laughed and hung up on me. Gentlemen. Okay. Now, Andrew, which famous Red Hot Chili Peppers song did that sort of sound like but definitely wasn't? Give it away now? All right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that kind of sounded like uh, Give It Away, but my lawyers have insisted I tell you it was actually our own completely original hit, Pay It Forward. <laughs> Let's hear it. Pay It Forward is a film with Kevin Spacey. Have you seen the movie Pay It Forward lately? Got a copy, can I watch it with your daughter? Bought the Blu-ray and the toothbrush at the yard sale for a quarter. Pay It Forward, Pay It Forward, Pay It Forward now. Yeah. All right. Well, as a film student, that's a good... It was good. Yeah. Still, yeah. he's awful. <laughs> I hate him. Uh, Andy, uh, tell our friend here what he won. Well, it's from the Oscar Mayer Executive Collection. It's this briefcase full of hot dogs. That's the best present ever. Enjoy. Can I have some go. of those? I haven't had a hot meal since the Clinton administration. All right. He'll go away if we ignore him.